So here's something quite interesting. I made a few comments on one of my last videos about Astrobot that I simply don't care about the game. The game is not necessarily the kind of game that you'll see me play. Rather, it's a game that I'll buy for my kids and they'll play. I'm a grown father. My taste in games has changed since I was a little kid. I don't play platformers and it, it doesn't give me the ooh, ah, why? My influence in video games were very interesting. The very first time I played, say, the Super Nintendo, that was probably one of the first consoles I played before I then played a Nintendo console, which is weird. It was just kind of out of whack, was I was playing these Nintendo games, but believe you me, I was playing Mortal Kombat on these Nintendo systems. And those games really caught my imagination over Mario. Yes, I played Mario, played some of the other platformers from back in the day, and I enjoyed myself. But when you gave me like a Game Boy Advance, I was hoping that I could play like Tekken on there, which I did play both. I played Mario Kart, but then I played Tekken. So again, when you think about it, you're like, OK, what's going on here? Well, the exposure kind of gave me a taste of both these games at a very young age. So when I say I really don't care about Astrobot, it's not talking about the quality of Astrobot. It's talking about my preference in video games. I would think this is not something I have to explain, but it appears to me that for some reason, people just want you to affirm what they like, I guess, because this is very interesting at the end of the day. I saw a comment on my channel. I, I, I've ended up blocking the person because the person basically went for a personal attack. And that's what I told you all. If anybody goes for a personal attack, they're just going to get blocked. I don't really have time for this because we're not children here. We're grown. Don't attack people's personal, you know, don't go personal. It's just a video game conversation. The person said on the, if you look on the top right corner, this person, uh, Aldo Apache, I don't know who you are. They said Gotham Knights is quality to me. They quoted me and then they said, you lost all credibility, which you also never had. Uh, because I said a game is quality to me, in my opinion, my own opinion of the game as a, you know, melee combat game is quality to me. And what's crazy is this particular statement is resonated by people who finally went back after letting all the noise die down and eventually properly learn how to play the game the way the game was designed. And many of them have come out and said, actually, this game is not so bad. However, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, oh, this game is, you know, something, something because you don't like the game. If you don't like Gotham Knights, that's your choice. I can't force you to like a video game. Just the same way you can't force me to like Astro Bot simply because my experience with video gaming is not necessarily relegated to that particular style of video game. It's very interesting at the end of the day. I think these conversations are, you know, to be had when you actually point out, you know, your, your preference in video games. It, it, it's the Internet anyways. You know, you can you, you can be <laughs> you can be saying one thing on the Internet. I, I remember there's that meme that says, you know, the Internet, I, I like pineapple pizza. People are like, why don't you like freaking pepperoni or some, some some weird stuff like that? And I think that's what we're going you know, into in terms of that. Just because somebody doesn't like a game that you like and somebody thinks a game that, you know, they like is quality, then my goodness, they now become some kind of, a, you know, shield in your eyes or something like that. No, that's not how life works. I think a lot of the folk that, you know, and, you know, shout out to the Video Game High School Channel community. A lot of the folk out here are young people. You know, y'all are, to be very honest, you know, your experience in life is very interesting. I think a lot of folk that watch this channel have already kind of gauged seeing from some of the responses that, you know, you give. And, you know, I'm not saying being young is a bad thing. I work with young people. I really do. Uh, you know, I really do like working with young people. I really do like interacting with young people. But a lot of the way people respond, I guess we need to actually in our society talk about these things more than gaming itself, because it's really wild to see responses like these, <laughs> you know, talk about stuff in, in you know, in, with regard to all of this, uh, you know, all of this gaming, you know, uh, conversations at the end of the day. Ooh, look at that spacing there, guys. You see, did you see that? Oh, no, 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 no. You see, this is this is this is gaming knowledge right here. Let me do a little commentary on this Mortal Kombat match that I played against this person. You see, I know these Johnny Cage mains, they're kind of trigger happy. I'm a Kong Lao main. I guess this is Mortal Kombat 1. I never would have thought I'd play Kong Lao, but hey, he's the only one that kind of appealed to me so far. And then I play like two other characters on the side. You see, he's rushing. You know, Johnny Cage is really, really plus. This is an OP character in this game for sure. So he comes in. He gets me in the corner. I thought he was going to do a high or try to throw me. That's why I did not block. 
I was going to do like a weave, but preempted wrong. Then he did this launcher. He did a little combo. If he was actually really good, he would, well, he was probably going to end me there, but I did a breaker. And then I knew he was coming in with that Johnny Cage's shadow kick. You know, they, they almost always do. This spacing is just reading the game. So I read it with a clean dodge. Woo! And then I went in for the punish. Bow, bow, bow. I didn't have any meter, so I just hit him and gave him some space. And then I gave him an Oki. You know what an Oki is? An Oki is when you're about to get up. And then I, I sent you I sent you with something that kind of prevents you from getting up and moving or jumping. So this projectile is designed to keep you blocking so I can breathe a little bit. Or maybe damage you if you don't block and you want to get all crazy. And my options are limited. I still don't have any meter. And so I'm like, hmm, what do I got? I got Fatal Blow. But... Mm, it's going to be hard to kind of put a fatal blow on this guy. Anyways, he comes in and then he does, he does a jump in. Johnny Cage's jump ins are OP. So as he does a jump in, I should have done an up block, but my reactions are slow being, you know, older. I, <laughs> I guess I never really had too many good reactions anyways. I just block and then he's coming in with this. Ooh, and when he does this, this is what's called spacing. Those people who say Gotham Knights is bad or whatever, you don't know how to play the game. Gotham Knights plays mostly like a fighting game. Once you understand spacing, you understand how this game was designed to be played. It's designed for, for a good amount of skill to be able to enjoy the game, right? Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that, that little, uh, you know, that little area that I just showed you guys here and how that actually worked? Where's that game? Where's that match again that we played with that guy? And when he did that, was it this match or was it this other match? Hold on. I'll show you guys the match right now. It was probably this match over here. Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one where he does that. And then I, you know, I use that spacing and then I ended with my fatal blow. This fatal blow right here. See it? Look at it. Okay, there it is. I want to make sure that you see it because it's not necessarily something that, you know, a lot of people consider when they're playing a game like Gotham Knights that you really require like almost a fighting game player level of skill. Look at that. Ooh. That's the middle of the animation right there. A lot of what you do in Gotham Knights, you play like that. You will dodge. You do your abilities in between. You can block bullets if you're using, um, what's the name, Robin. In between animation, build up, and in between, like, you know, moves and the timing. Very precise video game that you play at the end of the day. To me, it resonates the quality in video games that I do like, right? It resonates the same patterns and so on and so forth. So if you prefer Astrobot, that's your preference, but you can't expect me, you know, to like that game <laughs> because I don't care. I've never played it, so I don't even know if I'll like it, but not just my kind of game, if you get what I mean. Anyways, I just want to go ahead and make this video because I thought it was really interesting that somebody would say that because, you know, you don't care about a game or because you think another game is quality when they never really asked you, okay, why do you think the game is quality? You know, they just, you just react, you know, from, I don't know what it is. All right, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Looking forward to that PlayStation, uh, you know, showcase. I'm going to make a video about it, talking about, you know, some of the pertinent things I would like to see. I guess it doesn't matter. PlayStation already has things lined up, so it doesn't really matter, but still, we can talk about it. Thanks again for watching the video. Peace out.